Two other teenagers were injured in that crash in Dixon. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Adrian Moore. I'm Sam Shane. The deadly crash was last night near Dixon High School. 16 year old Juan Aguirre of Winters was driving his friends, a 14 year old girl, and a 16 year old boy when he lost control and crashed into a tree. CBS 13's Angela Masalam is live now at Dixon High School where the teen attended school. Angela? Yeah, Sam Adrian, talk about horrible timing for this family. Juan Aguirre's older brother held his graduation ceremony here at Dixon High last night. Not even an hour later, Juan crashed his car into a tree not far from here and lost his life. I cried all morning. I, I couldn't even take my finals because I just couldn't stop thinking about him. It feels like a dream to Oscar Alatore as he stands feet away from where his best friend crashed and died less than 24 hours ago. Oscar says he and Wanagiri were counting down until the last day of school on Thursday. Why had God done that to him? He's such a good person. Oscar says what really broke his heart was hearing what Juan said to his older brother, who graduated from high school just hours before Juan lost his life. He told his older brother, I'm so happy I got to see you graduate. You finally made it. Now it's your turn to come look at me graduate. CHP officers at the scene Wednesday night say Juan was speeding on Pedrick Road before he lost control. In fact, officers say Juan shouldn't have been driving his teen friends who were injured in the crash. According to California law, teens younger than 17 with a driver's license can't drive anyone under the age of 20 unless there's a passenger who's at least 25. Those restrictions are lifted when the driver turns 17. Juan was 16 years old. He was one of my kids. It's been a tough day for Dixon High and for Superintendent Brian Dolan, who says he's known Juan since the first grade. Dolan described him as a talented and sweet kid. Every time I saw him, there would be a warm exchange. The kind of kid who, um, even at the superintendent schools would walk up and say hello to or have a hug with. A teen on the road to graduating stopped by this Dixon Road. Now, the superintendent says the school will be open tomorrow for any students who want to speak to a grief counselor. The superintendent also says the school is supporting the Aguirre family during this very hard time. Yeah, always sad to see a life taken at such a young age. Okay, thank you very much, Angela. Live for us tonight in Dixon.